Hey there, everybody. I'm Paul from The Crypto Gold. That's my Twitter handle, and that's how you can find me. But I want to cut to the chase. Everybody else doing the video for this topic on YouTube takes too long. It shouldn't take eight to 10 minutes to explain what you got to do. So you're listening to this video because you're trading crypto. And on a lot of these exchanges, you have to use something called Google two factor authentication. Now, um, I was using that and I realized talking to people that I didn't back up my information at first when I did it. So I was like, oh no, how do I have, how do I have to do that now so that if I lose my phone and I get locked out that I will have access again? The answer is that you have to go to each individual exchange where you do trades and have money and you have to log in and you have to first disable the two-factor authentication and then you delete it from the Google Authenticator app on your phone, and then you go through the whole same process again this time, okay? Re-enabling it on your phone. Be very careful doing this, because I don't want to have to take responsibility for you losing your stuff. Be very cautious doing this so that you can regain access to your exchanges. So when you're going through this process to re-enable uh, your Google two-factor authentication, Google 2FA, I think I'll call it to make it simpler, when you see that barcode and you're adding it on your phone and you scan that barcode, at that time you're going to want to take a screenshot or write down the private key number. Be very careful and meticulous that you get it right. That way you have a record of it. So on mine, I'm on Mac and I use an app in the, in the applications folder called Grab Alias. And I know there's a way to do it on Windows, but I don't know how. You must find out for yourself or take a picture with your phone. But anyway, so I take a screenshot, I save it as a JPEG to my desktop, and I put it in a folder. Today I did this with five different exchanges. And, and I was successful with all of them, thankfully. I didn't get locked out of anything, but I wanna to stress to be very careful. It's very important, people. So you might think, oh, but I have a backup of my phone, but that's not sufficient. If you have a backup of your phone and you try to reload that to your phone, you will not have access to your Google Authenticator keys. So again, quick summary, go to the exchange uh, where you want to get to achieve this goal of having a backup with your backup key for restoration later. Disable it first, re-enable it, and while you're re-enabling it, take a screenshot, write down that key code, and save it as a JPEG put it in a folder, put it in a USB like I did and hide it elsewhere. I put it on two USBs and put it elsewhere and I don't keep it on my computer. But so that's what I did and I hope this is helpful to you um, because some people don't know, but back this stuff up because you don't want to lose your information. It's very important. And I'm going to let you guys go again. I'm Paul, as you can see right here, Crypto Gold or the crypto gold is my handle on Twitter. I appreciate followers. I appreciate comments, likes, and I will come back at you with more videos pretty soon. I'll have a new microphone. I don't like that hollow sound. And that's it. I have the shortest video on YouTube available on how to do this topic. And I didn't beat around the bush too much, I don't think, right? And I speak quickly and I just bing, bing, bing. We go. And then, all right, everybody, have a nice day.